Hey, I'm Evan, head of engineering for RM Stator. Let's upgrade the regulator on your Polaris Razor. Hey, I'm Evan, head of engineering for RM Stator. Today we're going to talk about your regulator upgrade options for the Polaris Razors. Um, we're talking specifically about the uh, 900 and the 1000 XP models, two and four seaters. So there uh, was two different regulators commonly used on these, and they're basically the same thing, but they had different plugs. Some models use two separate plugs like this, a three pin connector that's standard for the stator and a two pin connector with your black and red wires for your battery connection. The other regulator commonly used on these guys, same regulator, different harness, has the same stator connector with uh, three wires, but the battery connection was actually ring terminals uh, with a red and a black wire. So if you've had one of these for long, you've probably had a regulator failure on them. Um, they are notorious for it. It is very common. They're mounted in a really poor location um, in the rear fender well area. And the, uh, it's very common to get the fins on the regulator packed with mud. They can't stay cool. You uh, have them overheat and they fail. So we've got three different options for you to solve this problem on your razor, depending on how far you want to go. Option number one is our stock style uh, regulator. So it's similar housing to the original, uh, same plugs as the original. This is a MOSFET style regulator, which is a lot more accurate regulation and runs much cooler. So this is a nice option if you want to keep the regulator in the stock location um, and have a nice plug and play installation. So we have this style and we have the other style with the ring terminals that I was talking about. So that's our stage one option. They both mount using the original bracket as well, so it's an easy plug and play installation. Okay, your stage two option is to go to the regulator that Polaris offered as a recall. So Polaris knew there was a problem on these. Um, they've had lots of reports of failures of the regulators. And their next option was a MOSFET regulator uh, with a more efficient heat sink. And this is a nice option. It works well. We have them available with both of the necessary adapter harnesses. So when you plug in our adapter harness, you end up with the same connections as the original. This mounts in the original location to the original bracket and has a plug and play installation with these adapter harnesses. So you can see them here. Here's the other style with the ring terminals. So that's a nice option if you still want to keep your regulator in the stock location and have a very easy, quick plug and play option with a better, more efficient regulator than the stock style. Okay, your third option is to use our recall upgrade style regulator and relocate it to the front of your razor. So to go along with that regulator, we have two different relocation harnesses available with both plug styles. Um, they're both meant to be a direct plug in to the upgrade regulator. And uh, it's an easy installation. You plug it in still at the back where the connectors are just like the original. This does require more work because you have to route your relocation wiring harness up uh, to the front area of the vehicle. Um, there's an easy way to do that. You have a, a tunnel where the drive shaft runs, so it's very easy to run it. But you do have to take out the transmission, uh, or not the transmission, the drive shaft tunnel. You have to remove the seats, uh, the rear access hatch. So there's a little more work to do. You got to pull the hood up and you have to find a place to mount it. So you have more effort, but this is the ultimate solution. It gets your regulator up front where there's a lot cooler air. Uh, there's no dirt and mud. Well, I shouldn't say no, but there's a lot less dirt and mud up front. And you can get the regulator in a nice location that'll uh, really make it last much longer. Um, we recommend using the stock mounting bracket when you do that because it, it gives you a nice standoff so you can get airflow above and below the regulator. And uh, there's plenty of room to mount it up front. So we don't tell you exactly where to do it. You can put it just about anywhere. The harness gives you lots of extra length uh, to mount it wherever you'd like. So with that being said, those are our regulator upgrade options uh, for the Polaris Razor. Um, stage one, stage two, and stage three. I would recommend picking one of them and getting that done on your vehicle because it will make a huge difference in the regulator life on these things. So get one installed and have fun.